If I asked you to take a guess about how consistent you are with your good habits and how often you give in to your bad habits, how accurate do you think you'd be? Well, in general, we are pretty bad at estimating things, even though we think that we are actually pretty good. And I think a great proof of this are these Facebook flashbacks. You know when Facebook shows you a photo, a post that you posted some time ago, when you see it, it feels quite recent, just to find out that it was months or even years ago. So to leave nothing to luck and our bad estimates. I want to share with you a tool that is super simple, yet really effective and actually quite fun. And it'll help you see how consistent you are with your good habits. And through that will actually help you be more consistent. So stay with me. Hey, this is Thomas from okaysnowenough.com, helping you become the best version of yourself and create a more exciting and more fulfilling life. And before we go any further, when you want to establish a new habit, consistency is absolutely critical. And there is a saying that it takes 21 days to establish a new habit. Rubbish. There is no one size fits all formula of how many days it takes to form a new habit. Sometimes a new habit sticks from day one forever because you have massive needs or enthusiasm for it. Other times when a new habit is replacing an old habit that you've had for 30 years, it may take quite a while. Regardless, consistency is the key. And since we know that we are not very good at estimating or keeping track of how consistent we are, I want to share with you this little tool of mine that will definitely help you with being more consistent and actually knowing how consistent you are. I call it the consistency calendar. This consistency calendar is really great for monitoring how good you are at sticking to your new habits or to your new goal and possibly tracking your progress as well if it's not just yes or no type of habit or goal. And here is how you create and use the consistency calendar. Step one, create a grid that will cover the duration in days you want to track your new habit for. You may want to track one habit or several if you want. Just make sure that you don't get carried away at the beginning and you don't overdo it with the number of habits you're going to track. Start small and then build up over time. I've also created a couple of templates that you can download. Just click on the link in the description and it will take you to my website, to the article, and that's where you can download them from. Step two, decide on colors you will assign to the yes or no of whether you've completed the uh, habit or whether you stuck to the habit or not, or potentially to the degree to which you've completed your goal. Um, so for example, green would be you were 100%, Yellow would be you've done part of it, but you didn't stick to it as well as you wanted to. And red would be you didn't stick to it at all. Step three, every day make a color mark depending on whether you did stick to your goal or to the habits or not. If you want to track your performance in some numerical way, you can just write the number in the color spot. So for example, you um, uh, trying to do as many push-ups as possible. So it's quite nice to track the number of push-ups that you've done on the day. Now, over time, you will be able to see how consistent you are. I suggest that you set a reminder on your phone to remind you every day at some specific time to fill in your consistency calendar. And there are different ways how you can play with it and modify it you can track several different habits over a period of a month, or you can have one grid exclusively for one habit that you're tracking for a period of one month or even one year. So that's it, it's that simple, but it's really effective. You can use it to track a number of goals and activities. If you have, for example, a morning or evening routine that you want to establish, you can use each line for uh, every single one of those parts of the morning routine and just track it over a period of a month to see how consistent 
you've been. It's also a great way to make sure you don't forget anything. I always use this calendar when I'm working on establishing new habits or when I want to get more accurate view of how consistent or not I am with certain activities. There is something really satisfying about using colors to fill in the calendar and then seeing the whole month or even a year in one view and seeing how consistent you've been. And so this is it. I hope that helps. And remember that these tools only work when you work them. So as always, thank you for watching. And before you go, and I'll see you on the next video.